Hey guys, it's Snag Transfer here, bringing you more Super Paper Mario, and we're having another interlude with the baddies here. <laughs> Raise your trunks in the air as the most bond man, O oh, men stride in the room. Springing forth as a lair as foes disappear, for black be the name of their doom. Whoa, ho, ho, that's our black blickety blickety doo. Yeah, uh, something black. The guys who says. Whoa. Gosh, oh chunks, quit it! You've been breaking windows! What are you yelling about? Oh, that? Yeah. I just had oh chunks come up with a nice motivational tune. And as punishment for getting beat by that hero again, I'm making him sing it a thousand times. One, one thousand times? Gosh, you're even more evil than I thought. Hey, but enough chatting. Where's the count, huh? I want to see him. Yeah, he, he hasn't called me to go do anything, and I'm just getting so bored. Hey, count. My destructive little friends are gassed up and itching to get back into action. Yeah, Robot is begging me to take him out. Say the word and I'll roll out. Do a roll out. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Yeah, uh, great enthusiasm, but let's show the robot action plan for now, okay? The thing is, the Count's kind of left specific orders for us to stand by. Got that? No way! We're just supposed to wait here for that big mean hero to come get us? So the Count doesn't need my services? Excellent! Then I'll just be off again. No, you go nowhere! We wait until the Count's direct orders. His word is absolute. Be a good little minion and do not move until told. Okay, thanks. Wow. What a prick. But I'm bored! And Brobot craves this daily smash. I just get loiter here, there's no action. <laughs> Hard to stay when you feel such a pine for sweet vengeance, isn't it? God, he just eavesdrops like crazy. Dementio! The Count's orders are all absolute. Completely without exception, yes? We shouldn't even dare to think about a secret sneak attack. Perish the thought. Defeating the hero would please the Count greatly, but we must follow orders. Oopsie, I just remembered something really important I gotta do. Uh, back in the jiffy, bye! Uh, yeah, yeah, I've got, uh, Brobot's got to go deflavorize the, uh, Brobot's flavorizer. Uh, I'll return once everything's up to good. <laughs> El Eater de Meteo. <laughs> Deflavorize? What? Does it taste good? <laughs> my, my, isn't that something? I do believe I should be moving on as well. Poor old chunks. He always gets the worst of everything. Uh. Look, Timpani, the stars are beautiful, aren't they? There's a tradition in my village. We believe stars on stars come true. Oh, is that so? In that case, we better get wishing, don't you think? I don't need to wish anymore. Mm hmm? I've already got my wish. Now, I have everything I need right here. Timpani, aren't you cold? Not at all. I'm very warm. Can we just stay like this? Just a little longer? Ugh, I don't like the haikus! Haiku! Tippy. Tippy. Oh. What's going on, middle, little butterfly? What are you holding us up for? What's the matter, Tippy? You seem a little out there. Well, didn't you hear something? Yeah, I've been hearing something after every chapter. No? Alright then. It's just that for a second I thought I remember something very important. Ah, uh, more tremors. So what is the basketball this time? I mean, the soccer ball this time. Uh, it looks like it should be one of those exercising balls. I don't know. The void. It looks as though it's gotten bigger. We need to get to open the door in the next world quickly. Let's hurry! And we just have it the pan out like we usually do. Oh, jeez. Okay. So now that we've gotten our sixth pure hearts, we're actually going to do a little side quest here. You're probably thinking, Oh, I just want to continue with the game. Well, I feel that this is important, so shut up. Okay. Oh-ho, you're back. Well, first we're going to get interrupted by old man Jenkins here. Excuse me, Santa. Have you seen the sky lately? The void continues to grow larger. I imagine that some worlds have already started to decay. 
I wonder how long our dear Flipside will be spared. Flight Prognosticus doesn't say anything about how long we have. My prognosticus was only written to counteract the Dark One. As such, it is not truly prophetic, so it is hard to say how long we really have. And yet, I feel confident in saying we do not have much time at all. Well, we can only go forward now. We can't just wait for all worlds to end, can we? Yeah. Of course you're right, my dears. I've re received a message from Noral Rim recently. It seems that someone on the outskirts of Flopside has spotted a heart pillar. As you're no doubt seeking, the next part pillar is a good place to start. I will go back to the light prognosticus and look for clues. Yeah, you go do that, Merlin. So anyways, now that we've done that, uh, we're gonna get Mario out here, that way we can move at a NORMAL PACE! Jeez, Bowser, you move too slow. Okay. And what we're gonna do is that side quest that I was talking about before. Now this is actually gonna take a while, so I wouldn't blame you if you decide to skip ahead of this or whatever. So yeah, uh, first things first, we're gonna go over here into the mystical Merle's, not mansion, but uh, place, I don't know what to call this. <laughs> oh, you have fine timing, my blood pressure's climbing. Uh, I don't, I remember this. Ugh. You see, I was hoping maybe you could do a big favor. Can I, can you, I implore? Never, never more. <laughs> thank you, thank you, True, I knew I could count on you. During my confusing move, I lost Crystal Ball so smooth. I use a replacement now, but it feels wrong somehow. I believe that Merlovely uses the same type of ball as me. Would you mind go to her and ask for one of her Crystal Balls real fast? You know where Merlovely is, right? We're on the outskirts of Flipside are in sight. Thank you, thank you, True. Okay, thanks to that pipe, we can actually go see the Merlovely real quick, and it won't be that much of a problem. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. This is why you want to get that pipe. This makes it so much easier. Okay. So we got to go to the other uh, prophetic uh, person, Merlovely. Hey, Merlovely, how's it going? And yeah, talk to me. Talk to me, honey. <laughs> I've been waiting, heroes. You want to ask me about a crystal ball? How do you know? There's nothing to fear. I'm Merlovely. It is my job to know the future. Now, she truly is a psychic. I've been kidding about that, but no, you truly are a psychic. Mer lovely sent you, did she not? Mer lead sent you, did she not? Yes, I have ready the ball. Please take it. Thank you. Or, I'd like to say that, but there's something I must first ask of you. What do you want, money? Everybody wants some piece of Mario. I do not know. I do. I know I do not <laughs> look like it, but I am in training. I told someone about it, and they said they had some useful equipment. But I've been so busy that I haven't had a chance to pick it up yet. The kind fellow who offered me the equipment is the Flip Wizard Bestovis. So you are really help me out if you if you would agree to. <coughs> would you agree to get to his house and pick it up? If you do that, then I will give you the crystal ball. Bestovis's house is beyond Flipside Tower, red door on Lineland Road. Yeah, we know where Bestovis is. Thank you for your assistance. Okay, so we're gonna go see Bestovis about uh, this exercise equipment. So I'm actually gonna cut until we get to Bestovis's house because I. Would take a while to actually show, so yeah. Alright, now that we're bestowed this house, let's go ahead and talk to him real quick since we go through this door, of course. Alright. Hey, Bestovis! You cheatskate? Ah, heroes, what have you been bl blindingly blind brilliant Bestovis? Blindingly blind Bestovis, what? Ah, so you've come in the training machine in place of Merlovely. Hmm, yes, of course, I do know we're such a machine. Normally, I would never allow you to bask in the splendor of my knowledge, but you are a hero. Thank you for actually recognizing it this time. Now then, hero, I have a favor to ask of you. Oh, it's gonna be one of these, huh? It's gonna be like that, huh? Yeah, yeah, I bet it would be. Oh, God. I've lent a certain something to the mayor of Yoldtown. Watch it. You must retrieve it for me. I have asked it for it back many times. But old Washington must treasure it, for he has never returned it. Retrieve it for me, bestow this, and I shall grant your training machine. Simply ask him for the you know what, and he will understand. Now be gone! Be gone? I'll be gone, you, you, you freaking bestovian. Okay, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna cut it until we get to the old town and uh, go talk to old man Watchit. Okay, now we're in the old desert and go and talk to Watch It over here. Oy. 
Come on. You got the thing that I'm supposed to get? Do you know what? Well, if you watch it, I, I, I was just looking for you. Need something, you to do something. What? You watch it. Don't give me that. Not again. Look, <laughs> dumplings. You listen to me now. You hear? Open the mirrors before I box them. Getting tired of this. So here's the thing. This strange lady showed up in my dreams, talking on and on about something. I don't know what it was, but she needed help with something. Watch it. Yep. This is what she looked. She looked like this. No. 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 <laughs> Is, but she needs to get out of my dreams. Watch it. So let's get off my rug and help her out. Maybe she'll quit flapping her lip. You put a sock in her trap and I'll give her whatever she wants. Watch it. Oh, and I almost forgot. I gotta give you this. A piece of paper. Look for someone to sign it. She's been in my dreams so long, so I guess I've become a fan of sorts. So get her to sign this. You know, what do you do? can you do? You can watch it. <laughs> no! 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 Yes! No! No! Okay, I've made it over here. Now what do you want? <laughs> a hero, so you've come to see me? Yeah, as if we didn't know she was there, Mario. We've talked to her before. Seriously, dude. It is I, Merlumina. It is a pleasure to meet you again, hero. Please don't start rambling again, lady. You're still pretty pretty, though. What? What am I still doing here? Yeah. I'd slept there for 1,500 years. Why didn't he give you the pure hearts? Having done that, I decided I might enjoy a quick nap. But I couldn't sleep. But even after that, I sat in bed and read for a bit and still wasn't sleepy. If this keeps up, I thought, I'll be reduced to no more than a mere phantom in this world. You already are a phantom, don't lie to me. So I tried counting sheep, but even counting to a hundred thousand sheep didn't work. Then I became frustrated with myself for not being able to sleep. So I thought, why not send out my frustration to someone telepathically? So I figured the message would reach somebody in a nearby town of ancient blood. Oh, God. I, I used to do it all the time when I was single and wanted to meet people. <laughs> yes, I don't really care. Will you just sign this? I was going to fill out this form and I'll give you a new package. I was wild gal back then, throwing caution in my heart to the wind. One day my mind sent a message reached three different men. From that day on, my heart was silly. <sighs> so as soon as I was singing, I just couldn't sleep at all. Hey, are you sleeping? Yeah. I, I actually yawned because you were so boring. People are suffering from a lack of sleep here. Doesn't that tug at your heart? No, not really, you're bored. People in this millennium have no sense for passion! Ahem, back to what I was saying. I was trying to vent some of my frustration with some telepathic pranks, but the person receiving the telepathy was hard of hearing, so it barely worked. That only made me more sad. But it helped me to realize something else. Maybe I couldn't sleep because I was sad. Then when I realized my childhood fell asleep... Shut up! God, you're worse than Merlin! Shut up! Shut up! Oh my god. That's when dozens of people strong them. Do you shut up? And you are sleeping again. Yeah, you don't shut up. God. I can't believe you. Honestly, I'm wringing my heart out to you. And you you just <clears> Hmm. <throat> All this talking is making me a bit a little drowsy. And since you've been here, I feel so lonely. Maybe I can get back to sleep now. Was that your plan all along? Brilliant thinking. Yeah, sure, why not? Wait, don't don't go yet. Yes, I feel kind of cozy yet. I think I can get to sleep. Thank you, hero. Now I can get back to sleep. Wait, don't go yet. No, 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 no. Not yet, not yet, not yet, please. What is it? Why are you bothering me now that I'm finally getting back to sleep? Please sign this. 
Huh? An autograph? Why, certainly. Just give me the paper there. I'm surprised she can actually hold it, but whatever. You gave the paper to her. Now then, you're always in my heart, signed the Fantabulous Merlumina, and done. Oh, and I'm a... Let's put a little kiss on the end here. Mwah! Ew. There we go. How's that? Thank you! Jeez. So we're all settled then. Good to hear. And thank you, hero. I will return to the sweet embrace of dreams. Now you can leave and never talk to anyone else again. Please, take care of this world. Good night. Man, she's just forestalling the end of the world now. Jeez. Okay, now that we've ended the chapter, we're gonna go back to Old Man Watch It. <laughs> I can't even enjoy the flipping out here. Uh, it's killing me. He's gonna kill me. She's gonna kill me. Okay, watch it. I'm gonna make you watch it if you keep making me do stuff. Hey, you there. That lady up and left in my dreams. I can't watch it. She's not there. Can't watch it what you can't watch. And bad enough to hear her wailing on, but it's worse to see her disappear. And I got nothing else going on in my life except looking folks with my cane and gotten old. Here's the autograph. This is her autograph? Just look at those curlatures and those whoop de doos in her handwriting. It's more flustered this time than a hot griddle in my gunders. Dumplings. Where was I at? Oh, oh, I owe you for helping her. I can take on anything I own. Hey, you want the you-know-what? Well, who ever told you about that? Better watch it! Hmm. I see. So, old mischievous asked you for her to get it for him. Doesn't make a whisker of sense. Why do you ask for something like this to get for him? Fine, then take it. But you better watch it! The uh, you-know-what. Take it to Bestovius. That's my cousin. He must have a lot of fancy dancy hippity jibbity wizard hobbies. But nothing means more than getting the loom got crazy saying that out loud. Say a little Bestavius for me and whip him up with a cane or a newspaper or something. You know what? I will actually do that, Mr. Watch it. I will do that because this guy is part of a long chain of people I hate. Okay. Best of Hmm, so the hero returns. Did you get your you-know-what from Watch It? Yes, I did. Take it! You have it. This pleases Bistofus greatly. This is quite a collector's item. I was worried that Watch It had lost it. Ah, uh, I am so relieved. Yeah, that's great. What is this? You still need something from the Grand Bistofus? You're a cheatskate, that's what you are. Uh, yes, of course. You need to seek the training machine. Of course I remember. Such a little faith. Take it, hero. It would only disturb my sublime energies. It looks like a DS. I bestowed a once used it myself, you see. But I upgraded to the newer sleeker, mo sleeker model, so I no longer require its sleeves. What is that subliminal, t subliminal advertising, Nintendo? Jeez. You better give that to me, lovely. And send along my greetings from Bestovis. Okay, now I'm gonna commit suicide, because I hate this. Okay, now I'm a lovely, which you give me, it so better be worth all this pain and suffering, because oh my god, 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 here's your training machine. Did you pick up my equipment for me? Yes, I did. Here, you freak, take it. This is it, this is it, oh, I can try my heart's content. Yeah, uh, give me the crystal ball. What, you wonder which body part I can work with this with? My brain, of course! Uh, brain training, really? I've already trained every other part of my body, so that just leaves my head. That was so nice of you. Thank you very much. Well then, as promised, here's your gift. A crystal ball from her lovely that she gave you. Take it to Merle. Yes, I will. Please take this to Merle. Tell her that we're even- now that we're even- now we're even? Okay. Okay, Merle. This is the final straw. I am going to kill you for making me go through all this. <laughs> 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 
You made a grown man cry. Are you happy? Are you happy, Merle? Did you get the ball for me? Do I thank you? Golly gee. Take it. That's it. That's it. That's the one. Ah, well done. Thank you. Thanks a ton. Well then, let's see now. I must thank you somehow. Oh boy, here it is. The big moment. <laughs> I guess that there's only one thing I can do for you. Oh, this is it. This is it. One charm for you. Woohoo! If you want to charm on someone, count across the counter and talk to me, hon. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No! No! What's this I see on you? You look angry or blue. A charm for me is not enough. Kids these days, ungrateful stuff. I win across the freaking world, are you kidding me? Fine, I would be remiss if I did not give you this. A random house key, a key to do open a door somewhere in the world. In the world? Oh wow, that's even more helpful. Once there, I was an explorer. A charm I cast with a purr. He gave me this, yes sir. I do not know what it unlocks. I bet it's handy, buy my socks. You can have it, it rocks. Well, now, buy and how. <sighs> All that for a key. Man, this, whatever this opens, it better be worth it. <coughs> Ugh. Okay. So now that we've done all that and gotten the key, we can now unlock something in the world. They're not very specific about it, but it's actually in flop side here. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use this key to um, go back here. I'm trying to regain myself after that long ordeal. Please forgive me if I seemed out of breath. I did a lot of screaming and frustration and whatnot. So yes, um, th this is it. This is the house. Seems pretty useless right here, right? And it seems to be a useless room, right? It looks like um, some kind of ancient store around here, huh? Uh, there appears to be a chest right here. Let's open it. Doodly doo! Oh. What the? The bird, it wobbles. Tweet! The bug, it cries. Cheep! The frog, rrrr! The dog, rrrr! Goats and cars, bleat! All things sing, you see. To live is to make music. My words, could it be? I've said something poetic. Could it truly be? And you are. I am Piccolo! This is not Dragon Ball Z! Drag it, drag it! Pull the dragon, dragon, ballsy! Ow! Your footsteps sang to me, clop, clop, and over again. But those sounds are not. You're everything. You're all. Your essence. Nope. I'll show you why. True power, come forth. And all this for a pixel. The melodious pixel named Piccolo joined your group. If you use Piccolo, different music will play depending on the character you use. With some secret power sprinkled in. If you use me, hear a sound that matches your character, Piccolo Colo, the beat of your spirit. I will find it and play it for you. Okay. Now with Piccolo at our side, we're going to do a couple of more things. I know, this is just the best episode ever, isn't it? <laughs> I bet you guys are like at home going, yeah, I love your suffering and pain. So yes, when you actually jump with Piccolo out, um, the sound effects that it actually makes are changed. Um, it's like an old-time Super Mario Brothers and whatnot, but that's not the only thing that's actually changed. Um, when you press 1 with a certain character, it'll actually play a little song for you. And uh, basically what he'll do is actually cure status conditions like poisoning and sleep and whatnot. So yeah, that's all you have to do, press 1 and that's it. So now with our buddy Piccolo, we're going to be in Flipside right here, and what we're going to do is... Um, Use his abilities in this section of Flipside over here, I believe. Uh, let me... Yeah, there's no pipe over there. Okay. So we have to go over here. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, this is the thing we couldn't actually do anything to before, so let's get a boomer out real quick. We can blow this crap up. You know, this crap's in my way, man. Get out of my way. Get out of the way, dudes! Okay, I apologize for that cut and everything, but I had to, like, turn off the game, and I realized I didn't save any of this part up to the point where 
I actually entered up that pipe, so I didn't get the pure heart or anything, so my stats are a little different. I actually had to start back from chapter 4-3. Yeah, and I had to do all this crap all over again, so I'm, I apologize if, like, my stats are different and all this stuff and everything, so yeah, that's what happened. Anyway, you want to use a piccolo right here. And he will unblock this block, that way we can get what's in this chest. And it contains a Merly card. Oh, Joyce, who doesn't want the Merly card? I bet it rhymes, too. Um, while I'm at it, I'm going to show what the uh, other two characters, Peach, sounds like when you use Piccolo. Yeah, no one would have expected it to sound so pretty. And let's see Bowser's. Yeah, that was much cooler. <laughs> I could really appreciate that. Okay. So now that we've done that, we're gonna head back down and go get the, uh, put the next pure heart in the next pure heart color, or whatever the heck it's called. I don't remember anymore. I haven't played this game in forever. <sighs> okay. So I'll see you guys there. Uh, well, I don't know if I should just keep talking or what. I mean, it's gonna take us, like, two seconds to get the next pure heart, heart color. I mean, really. Uh, maybe. You know, I don't know how this game works sometimes. Sometimes it likes to make a jerk out of itself and say, like, Haha, I th you thought it was going to be right there, but no, I'm making it a lot harder for you to get it, so take that! Yeah. Okay, so... Um, if you go up that uh, pillar or tower right there, you'll notice that there's actually nothing there, so you don't want to bother going up there quite yet. In fact, um, just ignore the fact that that even exists right there, because that serves no purpose whatsoever. How dare you look at its that pillar and its pilleriness? It's Pillsbury Doughboy. Yeah. Right, get some biscuits. Man, I have no idea what I'm talking about anymore. I, I I've lost interest like quite a few episodes ago. <laughs> so yeah, I'm pr I'm feeling pretty miserable right now. I had to go through all that crap twice. Can you imagine how that feels going through it all twice? I'm gonna take out my frustration on these squawks, 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 and um. Yeah, we're supposed to flip right there, but uh, I, don't, I don't believe there's actually anything of use right here yet, so... Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Yeah. When you're lost, hero, you want to flip! No crap, sign. <laughs> and we're gonna get Dotty out right here, you'll see in a second why. In order to squeeze under here, no, we can't roll up in the tube and actually go under there like in the other Paper Mario games. We have to use Dotty, a pixel. I'm surprised that curse wore off. What the hell? You know, that's something they never explained in this game. Why did that curse wear off, and why did you just hit me, stupid swig? Um, is there anything over here? No. Why would they make something over there, yet there's nothing over there? I, I don't... What? <laughs> okay, let's just go over here and stop my questioning logic. Okay, so, this is a undercover block right here. Secret agent block right here, and we're just gonna crack it open. And it'll cover a switch, and there we go. And somehow Mario is not on the Switch anymore. I don't really understand that, but whatever. Okay, there's the heart pillar. Enough questioning Mario logic. Let's put the new heart. The Pepsi heart. <laughs> yes. You know, I've noticed that Pepsi's actually stolen uh, Coke's uh, mascots, like Santa Claus and the polar bear, and made stupid summer commercials. I'm not appreciative of that. I'm sorry. This looks stupid to me. <laughs> but I don't know who... Who you are, I don't know what kind of taste you have, but that's just my general opinion on the matter of the Pepsi commercials. Okay. So, we just love Pepsi, apparently. We heart Pepsi. At the duel of a hundred, the hero will meet... The hero will, will meet the dark powers of purest chaos. Jeez. If you fail to a hundred, the chaos world grows, and the purity heart fades. And as this, this happens, the hero will fall to all the world where all games are ended. Hi, Santa. In that section of the Light Prognosticus that I just deciphered... How'd you get a copy of the Light Prognosticus? It costs like over a hundred bucks. Yeah, too bad they don't actually sell it in the stores, but whatever. It seems to suggest that if you fail to pass these duels, all worlds will be ruined. And apparently your lives will be long-lasted will be lost along with the purity heart. Jeez, I cannot read today. Maybe today wasn't a good time to record, but I don't know. I know that what I have just shared with you might only serve to discourage you. 
I still must see you for it, however. It saddens me to know that I can do nothing else. Yes, you can! Come along with us! How dare you run away like a little coward! Yeah, you deserve to run away like a little baby. Dare you walk away on us! Don't turn your back on me! I won't be ignored! I won't say. Okay, I won't say. But yes, we're gonna hand off to chapter... The next chapter in the next part. So if you like this episode of Super Paper Mario, please subscribe, favorite, like, or just comment. So I'll see you guys next time when we start off the new chapter. Later.